Today I've got a stack Java tutorial for you. By the end of this video, you're gonna learn exactly how to use the stack in Java, all the methods, how it works, and everything. But let me just take five seconds here to show you my new office. Check it out, I got my very own office space before I was sharing my bedroom and also my office. But now I've got my own dedicated YouTube video space here. If you're new here, my name is Alex. I make Java tutorials just like this one every single week. So if you might be interested in that, then please consider subscribing. So first, let's start off this stack Java tutorial by just making a new project. We do this at the beginning of every video. I'll call it like stacks and stuff. Hit finish. And then on source, go to new class. I'll just call it like stacks or fun. Hit this first checkbox for the public static void main and hit finish. Just gonna zoom out a little here. I'm gonna get something real quick. I'm gonna ask you, what is this? And you'd say, Alex, well, that's, that's three video games. We got Super Monkey Ball on the top, Guitar Hero 2 in the middle, and Call of Duty Ghosts on the bottom. Now what I want you to do is just think of one of these games. Super Monkey Ball, Guitar Hero, or Call of Duty. Now I'm gonna play the game that you chose. So say that your game was Guitar Hero. I'd have to take off Super Monkey Ball, and now I have Guitar Hero. If your game was Call of Duty Ghosts, then I'd have to take off Super Monkey Ball and Guitar Hero, and then I'd be a Call of Duty Ghost. And that's how stacks in Java work, just like a stack of video games. You have to go one at a time from the top. We'll just simulate this uh, real, real life example, stack of video games, into Java. So to make a stack in Java, just type stack. And I'll call it like games and say equals new stack. Like this. There's red underlines. That just means that, you know, this program doesn't know what a stack is yet. We have to bring the stack code into our program and there's a super easy way to do that. Just hover over it and click import stack. That generates this import statement at the top and now we can use this stack. Now since we got rid of those red underlines, now there's yellow underlines. Oh, so many underlines, but it's just a really simple thing to do here. When we hover over it, it just gives us a little message here at the top, but it's just asking what type are you gonna put in here? Is it integers, is it strings, is it doubles, is it floats, is it longs, is it characters? Ours, we're gonna represent video games as strings. So we'll type little alligators here and put, um, put the string inside the alligators. And we gotta also do that right here. Now our stack's all set up, and we just gotta add our games. To add to a stack in Java, just type the name of the stack, and then a period. And this period brings up everything that the stack can do for you. And there's one called add, so I'll just type add, and I'll put in our first game. Now this is a good question. What game goes first? Do we put Super Monkey Ball first? or Call of Duty Ghosts first? The answer is Call of Duty Ghosts. So we wanna do Ghosts, then Guitar Hero, then Monkey Ball to get the order we have. So Call of Duty, we'll add Guitar Hero. And then lastly, we'll add Super Monkey Ball. Who here played Super Monkey Ball as a kid? This was the family game we played along with Mario Party. If we print out our games so far, print out this stack, games, let's see what happens. We get Call of Duty, Guitar Hero, and Super Monkey Ball. However, it's pretty difficult to visualize this because it's going sideways here, but the real um, kicker to the stack is that you should be looking at it like this not side to side. So just ignore how it printed out on the screen. Let's say we wanna take off Super Monkey Ball. I'll just put it in the same print statement here. We wanna get the very top of the stack. So to do things with your stack, you do dot. And to get the first one, it's called pop. To get the very top item. So if we print that out, then we'll get Super Monkey Ball. If we print out the stack now, then you'll see that 
It only contains Call of Duty Guitar Hero now because we popped it off and removed it. And this is what's remaining. If we want to take off Guitar Hero 2, then we'd have to do another pop. And we got both of those games now. If we want to get Call of Duty, then we'll have to do yet another pop. There are times where you want to look at the very top, but not pop it off. So keep the stack as is, but just look at the very top. And that's called peak. So if we do games.peak, that'll print out Super Monkey Ball, but leave the stack full. So if we run it, we get Super Monkey Ball, but the stack still has all three. I'll show some more methods now with another example. Say we have a stack of three Legos. One's red, one's yellow, and one's blue. And we'll go from top to bottom. So our physical example would have yellow on the top, blue in the middle, and red at the bottom. To turn this into a stack, or put these in a stack, we just type stack, call it tower. There's a new stack here. These are going to be, maybe say character. These, these as character variables since there's only one letter. To add these to a stack, you just type the name dot add. We'll add a red one first, because remember, you add from the top down, red right at the bottom. Next, we'll add our blue, B, and next, yellow. We print out our tower now, tower, then we'll get RBY. Just like before, we can do a peak, peak to look at the top, that's yellow. We can do a pop to remove the top. So the stack now would just be red, blue. But you can also do some really great methods here with stacks. So we'll put a dot and see what else we can do. We can see if it contains a certain value. So if it contains, um, say, a P for purple, it returns false since there isn't one in there. But if this was, say, blue, then it would return true. With stacks in Java, you can also do empty. This will return true if it's empty and false if it's full. So. We get false since it's not empty. You can also access these elements by index. So if I wanted to get B, for example, I could do get and then put index one in here. That'll get B. If I do zero, then that'll get red. So indexes go from bottom to top, but when you're peaking and popping, those take from the top. And I think that's where the big confusion is, the ordering. But if you just picture it like this, then you'll be golden. You can also set certain indexes. So say I wanted to replace blue with something else. I know that blue is at index one and I can replace it with P. If I print the stack now, then the tower is gonna look like our PY. The last thing I wanna show you is just you can get the size Usually the size or length methods are really good in general, and Stack has one as well. Let me know if this video game visualization was helpful for you with Stacks. You add one by one, and then you remove one by one. I hope you enjoyed this Stack Java tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your week, guys.